Well, happy hot Thursday. Hope you realize that we're in the home stretch of getting back to cooler weather. There's only about a month and a half for the reason we moved to Havasu. Cooler weather, nine months, eight months, seven months of delicious weather. So let's, uh, let's look at our, our passage today. We are called to be examples to believers, 1 Timothy 4.12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers as examples in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. You see, in the Greek culture, they looked a lot at age. They talked a lot about age. And if you were not of a mature age, you were pretty much dismissed or discredited. And Timothy had been with Paul. He was a young man since his youth. And he is now about 30 years of age. And Paul is imparting some nuggets of golden godly wisdom on his partner in ministry. You see, Paul challenges us in this passage to be an example to all, but especially to believers in five different areas. First area, our speech. Our speech should be seasoned with wisdom and compassion. Second, our conduct. Our conduct should be above reproach. No legitimate accusations of wrongdoing should be able to be found against us. Third, love. Paul is reminding us by love, all men will know that you're my disciples if you have love one for another. And that shows that you love Christ. If we have love one for another, we will be displaying the fact that we love God. Fourth, in faith. Hold true to the proclamation of God's inspirational word, which teaches us what to believe and how to live. In other words, study God's word daily. Hide God's word in your heart so that you will not sin against God. And fifth, if you do the first four, this fifth one generally falls in line, and it's purity. We live in a society that has allowed subtle changes of the pure moral compass. Allow the Holy Spirit to monitor your mind in all of the areas so that by doing so, you may win some to Christ. While we encourage believers to grow more Christ-like, encourage one another. So as we look back, our speech, our conduct, our love, in faith and purity. Let's display those. Let's be the example to a society who is really mixed up right now. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks for loving us. Thanks for giving us an opportunity to, uh, to be that example. Help us to keep in mind this guideline that you've given us and help us to have a great week. In Jesus' strong name, amen. Hey, God bless you and have a great rest of your week. Looking forward to seeing you this weekend in worship. Um, if you come Saturday at 5 o'clock at our Sweetwater campus, we'll welcome you. 8 o'clock is our classic service on our McCulloch campus. And then back over on our Sweetwater campus at 9, 30, and 11. And if you're in the Parker area, we'd invite you to join us at Alumni Hall at 11 o'clock. We'd love to see you, love to worship with you. We'd love to be your example. God bless you and bye-bye.